Hey guys, this is Karen Go playing Lego Jurassic World. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, there's no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. Whew, how about that temperature, huh? I am so glad we got Hammond to put free ice pops into our employment contracts. He really spared no expense. Yeah, this is good coffee. It almost makes up for the danger and humidity. We'll swing it all the way for you. Better Danishes. Sunrise. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. Come on, who tore up the cage trap? I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. So, do you know what we do if the raptor escapes? Yeah, well, Doom says to get up somewhere high so it can't reach you and only use our weapons as a last resort. Oh, so there's a. How does this panel work again? Do I have to put in my zip code? Social security number.
Pushing team move in there. Cage ladders jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all. Joffrey, raise the gate. No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. There's a raptor right under here! Ugh. Yep, I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more minutes. Just a little further. Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape, too. I want partial credit for that thing. It's basically mine. Scissors. Remember, Dr. Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. Huh? <laughs> 
As I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Come on, who tied this robe? What is that, a reef knot? Maybe it's a bowline? Is it a fisherman's bend? There's gotta be something sharp around here I can use. Extinct by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. A jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Ooh, uh, that might need some assembly. inch retractable claw like a razor on the middle toe. Dr. Grant, Dr. Ellie, we're ready to try again. I hate computers. Feelings mutual.
I give up. You give it a try. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up uh, some, you know, uh, oh, no, what's it called? Uh, no, it's some delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. I found a perfectly preserved Compsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. should stop it from leaning over and going around in circles all the time. Maybe I can help. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. Shoot the radar into the ground and the bone bounces the image back. The program is incredible. In two more years and you won't have to dig anymore. It's time of math. Looks like a six foot turkey. you think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? <laughs> well... Try to. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician. Chaotician, actually. <laughs>